Malawi is a landlocked country in Southeast Africa that was formerly known as Nyasaland. It is bordered by Zambia to the northwest, Tanzania to the northeast, and Mozambique to the east, south, and west. The country is separated from Tanzania and Mozambique by Lake Malawi. Its capital city is Lilongwe, the largest city is Blantyre, and the second largest city is Mozuzu. Malawi is over 118,000 square kilometers with an estimated population of more than 13,900,000 people. The name Malawi comes from the Marawi, an old name of the Nyanja people that inhabited the area. The country is also nicknamed the Warm Heart of Africa. Most Malawians live in poverty or struggle. Due to constraints of education and economical upheavals, many Malawians have migrated to the United Kingdom and in particular Northampton. And Northampton has become the home of many Malawians. Some of these Malawians came to study and some to do business, but over time some decided to settle in Northampton. I come from Malawi, the central part of Africa, and uh, my, my village is called Nzimba, which is the, uh, the northern part of Malawi. And uh, I, from Malawi, I flew by aeroplane to come to England, which is the, uh, landed at the Manchester Airport. Uh, I came in the UK in, in the year 2004, December. And uh, I'm from the village called Mbangweni, which is in Malawi. Well, I came to Northampton March 2005, and I moved from Northwest London. <laughs> The primary reason why I decided to come to New UK was the fact that uh, I wanted to enhance my education, to, to get um, further education. Family reasons, and I wanted to find work. I was working and you know by then I didn't have uh, lots of responsibility and I was carrying lots of money so I just thought like oh traveling would be a good idea to go abroad and you know just see the other side of the world. So as time goes by, I, I had my uncle who, who lives there, uh, who, who is living here. So I contacted him just to ask him if I can come to visit. I came by aeroplane, so the things which I carried were very minimal indeed. Uh, I had to limit the things which I have to carry because I know there are some restrictions here especially at the airport so i just carried a bag i came with only a bag uh, and a, no i should say a couple of bags because the one big bag and a small one i didn't have much really well my father helped me rent a van yes i came with my wife and daughter well i was excited they wasn't really excited but they were open to change so it went smooth <laughs> I met two people that used to come up here, that used to live in the same area as me, so they knew Northampton before I did. So we sh and they explained to me what the area was like, which swayed my decision. It was off from like uh, word of mouth from friends and families from Northampton that uh, the place is good. And uh, I never knew about it quite a lot because I had to come and see for myself. Much. I just know like United Kingdom as England, so I didn't know more of the place which I was going. The only thing which I was positive was, oh, my uncle is there, so I was very positive that he's going to look after me, and that was it. My first impressions about Northampton was a bit, uh, I thought it is a, a big, big, big uh, city. Yeah, and then he eventually I realized it was not as big as that, especially when I went to London. When I compared with London, then I found out that uh, Northampton is not as big as I first thought. Well, the locals were friendly, the place looked quiet, but that's what I was looking for, a quiet place, so yeah, I liked it. I would say probably I came on a bad time when it was winter, so <laughs> the weather was so cold. 
there were very few black people. So you can imagine the, the uh, people just when they see me, the, even the children would look, would stop and look. Oh, look, there is a person there. So it was like very funny, really. Uh, what was your first impression of Northampton? Boring. It smelled funny, and that's it. The best bits was that my family was here and the worst bits was I didn't like it. It looked, it, it looked cleaner, the air was fresher and it, was, um, it wasn't as hectic as London. And the worst bits I'd say is the transport. If you don't have a car it's really difficult to get around after certain times and on Sundays you can be waiting around for a long time for transport. Yeah, I had so many difficulties in the sense that uh, it was difficult for me to adjust to life here because, uh, like I said, it was a very cold country. The first days we had to buy so many clothes for, to, to keep up with the temperatures, which were very, very high. And uh, I had never experienced snow in my life. So it was very exciting to see snow for the first time, especially towards Christmas. The first few weeks, I had problems with um, settling because I didn't have no friends. The friends, the family friends, every time they were away, maybe school, and everyone was at work, so I was on my own in the house and I didn't know the place very well, so I couldn't go out. Uh, the child is very interested in her family history. She's embraced Northampton now. This is her home, this is my home. So we're all very happy. I should say um, both place, I call them home. I've got two homes here and in Malawi. Um, I would say home is where you're, 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 you're trying to get settled. And I would say probably this is home because now I can work, I'll find my own money. Northampton is my home, definitely, as you might notice. I've got a house, I've, I bought a house, I've got I bought two houses actually. Uh, this is my second house. So, yeah, I'll, I call Northampton as my home. And uh, the fact that my family is here, I, I'm, I'm, I'm more likely to be here than in Malawi. Probably I go to Malawi as a holiday place now.